Hi everyone, I'm Christine McCammon and I share tips, tricks, and recipes to help you on your journey towards food freedom. I tend to be a really positive person, one that always looks on the bright side, which I realize can be annoying for some that don't. In any event, that tends to be my personality. So I'm always looking for teachable moments, um, situations in life where we just look at the bright side and count our blessings and things like that. So life is full of challenges. Uh, there's marriages, childbirth, school, getting through tough situations, preparing for tests, adoption, losing weight, moving, getting new jobs, getting laid off, all of the things that come along with life can be very challenging. So I tend to always look for life situations that will represent the way we need to walk through life, one step at a time, one thing at a time, and not get too overloaded. Yes, we have to plan for the future, of course, but we don't need to worry about the future. Each day has enough trouble of its own that we can go one day at a time, one step at a time. One of my favorite activities that represent the one step at a time uh, philosophy or process is taking a hike. I love to plan out a little hike, a big hike, a long walk, something that I'm at the bottom of a hill, looking at the top of a hill and wondering how am I going to get to the top of the hill? And I love to have my kids around me when I do this and my husband as well that there's sometimes people complaining, how are we gonna make it that far? We're gonna be tired. Did we bring enough water? Our feet are gonna hurt. Did I wear the right shoes? All of those things. But I remind everyone, the only way to get to the top of the hill is one step at a time. It's impossible to do it any other way. It doesn't matter what shoes you're wearing. All of those things are helpful, but the only way to do it is one step at a time. And the only way not to do it is by not taking that next step. So it's so fun to me to take a hike, get to the top, look around and realize that one step at a time allowed for this hike to be completed. It goes the same for a lot of other things as well. I love to do puzzles, same thing. It's one piece at a time. Occasionally you open a box and there's two stuck together, which is awesome, but usually it's just one piece at a time. And you start with a mess on your table and you end up with a beautiful finished product, one piece at a time. A few days ago when we heard about the social distancing lasting at least till April 30th and on the day that we heard it, it wasn't even the um, April 1st, I had a mini meltdown and I realized I have a whole nother month to be quarantined, a whole nother month that we can't go places, that we lose business, that groceries are becoming scarce um, at certain places and I had a little meltdown and got very unnerved and my kids went outside playing and I was actually sitting at the table doing a puzzle at the time, uh, just trying to get my mind off it. And apparently I was moaning and groaning a little bit and having some sighs because I just couldn't get over the fact of this, how is this affecting our life in such a way that is a little bit frightening. And my sweet husband was so nice. He heard how I was feeling and he came over and mind you, he hates puzzles. He came over and he sat with me and helped me finish the puzzle. And I allowed myself to sit with the feeling of uh, frustration, uh, like many of us are having. For about 15 minutes, my kids came in and I realized, okay, this is life's challenges. We're gonna deal with this quarantine one day at a time. Some days it's one hour at a time, one activity at a time, one game at a time, just trying to get through the time of this quarantine. So we got to business and I said, okay, we have a whole month of April. What are we gonna do? A big, big thing that we're gonna do one day at a time. So we, uh, years ago, I had done a mini marathon, not mini marathon, but a marathon with my kids over 30 days. So it was one mile a day. I don't do marathons and I don't run, I just walk. So one leisurely walk a day, 26 days, so there's 30 days in April, so we'll have four rest days, but 26 times in April, a leisurely walk, and we will have completed a full marathon. So we created a chart, we clocked the mile, and everyone was very excited about it. And so we're gonna complete that marathon one mile at a time. We're gonna complete our quarantine one day at a time. And I don't know how many days that's going to be, of course. But in the meantime, we're doing things that represent how life works. It's challenging, and there's only one way to do it. People often ask me how I've lost so much weight. Um, I've lost 150 pounds. And people often ask, how did you lose that weight? 
of course I tell them no sugar, no flour, three meals a day. I tell them what I did. I tell them the tools that I've used. But what I often just say to someone when they say, how did you lose 150 pounds? I tell them I lost that one pound at a time. Didn't happen overnight. It was one pound at a time. So whether it's childbirth, getting through childbirth and getting through it one contraction at a time, adoption, one paperwork at a time, school, one exam at a time, um, sickness, one doctor at appointment at a time, um, moving, recently moved, and it's one box at a time. If you look at the overwhelming project, it's too much. So one box at a time and you'll have it done. Um, uh, so whatever life situations are, it's one thing at a time. So if you have 100 pounds to lose, why don't you think of it this way? You don't have to lose 100 pounds. You have to lose one pound and repeat it 100 times. That's it. One pound at a time, one day at a time. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, feel free to share it, hit the like button and subscribe.